Today, Cadillac is most often associated with the full-sized Escalade, as large land yachts haven't been relevant since the turn of the new millennium. While this Detroit-based manufacturer has reluctantly embraced a crossover dominant lineup, they're still producing one of the most unique sedans on the market today with the CT5. Descending from the CTS and XTS, this sedan continues to go head-to-head -head with the BMWs and Mercedes-Benzes of the world, while also exhibiting a sense of individuality, where Cadillac didn't just make a copy-and-paste American sedan that feels like every other offering in this segment. With a starting price of around $50,000, the CT5 could very well be the luxury sedan that will grab your attention. So here are five reasons why you should buy a 2025 Cadillac CT5. When staring at the CT5 for the first time, its outward appearance would have you think it's a mid-sized luxury sedan that in theory could compete with the BMW 5 Series or Mercedes-Benz E-Class. While in the past that would have been true, both German cars have upsized significantly to being almost 200 inches in length, outsizing the CT5 by 6 inches. On the flip side, Cadillac has a sedan that's about 7 inches longer than a BMW 3 Series for example, making the CT5 a tweener in this segment where it could be seen as a bargain on the market for a car of its size. As a result, it's far more family friendly than other sedans in its price range, offering an abundant amount of legroom for passengers in the second row, with a sloping roofline that will take away from overall headroom. However, if you want to prioritize comfort for everyone that joins you on weekday commutes or the occasional road trip, that's where the CT5 has an advantage over the competition. Sadly, the additional length and width doesn't translate to cargo space, resulting in a disappointing amount of room behind the second row seats, but it is adequate and sufficient for a car in this particular class if you refuse to buy a crossover. In many ways, what makes a vehicle great simply comes down to personal preference, whether it's the performance, styling, or driving environment. But interior tech isn't as subjective, especially now in the 2020s where you expect and demand world-class infotainment systems and digital gauge clusters. What has held Cadillac back the last few years is that their interiors, for a lack of a better term, has been a General Motors parts bin, especially for the head units which could be found in Chevrolets and Buicks. For 2025, however, that's where buyers will be greeted by a much more modernized and futuristic design that comes right out of the Escalade. With a conjoined screen that runs along the dashboard, you now have a full digital gauge cluster that still isn't the most in-depth or intuitive, but certainly is on par with some rivals. You can customize what you see on this screen by pressing down on the touch-sensitive icons to the far left, where you can display the Google-based navigation map. Then taking a glance over to the user interface, you have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. With GM now utilizing a Google-based software, occupants will find this screen to be more responsive than in the past. Better yet, if you don't like solely using the touchscreen, you'll still have the rotary dial and quick access buttons found on the center console like you did for pre faceth models. Some may claim that Cadillac didn't go far enough with this tech update, but unlike the Germans, there's still physical buttons for the climate control which is now a lost art in the automotive world as brands are placing everything on the screen. Cadillac's new design language has been an acquired taste and has taken some time to get used to. And now that the CT5 has been around for almost 5 years, the design team further matured the styling of the sedan with new headlights that better suit a car in this class. With our model being a premium luxury, there was a visible amount of chrome accents that added a nice color contrast, while also staying true to the Cadillac heritage and lineage. While the rest of the exterior mostly goes untouched for 2025, the resemblance to Cadillac's hybrid hypercar that participates in the World Endurance Championship and IMSA brings a sportier quality even for an entry trim. While Cadillac has traditionally strayed away from youthful and dynamic body lines and cosmetic features, 
The CT5 does draw quite a bit of attention now with this new front fascia. Removing the V-Series and Blackwing from the equation, the CT5 is primarily a luxury sedan, reflecting a more traditional take on this segment where it's very unlikely you'll be driving spiritedly on a winding back road and the noticeable amount of body roll will limit confidence levels if you're bold enough to throw it around in corners. While it may not be as nimble, Cadillac didn't cut corners or disappoint when it pertains to the powertrains under the hood. Standard will be a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder engine, producing 237 horsepower and 258 pound-foot of torque. However, we got our hands on the optional 3-liter twin-turbo V6, giving us 335 horsepower and 405 pound-foot of torque, with both engines being paired with a 10-speed automatic transmission. With more power comes a more exhilarating driving experience, and thanks to the smooth gear shifts, the CT5 performs exactly as a luxury sedan should. Unlike the Turbo 4, the CT5 wasn't sluggish or lethargic relative to its competition. And while you will be sacrificing better fuel economy by opting for the V6, Cadillac's biggest offering in the sedan market will keep you awake and excited throughout the week. For those who want comfort, the soft suspension helps you glide over the imperfections in the road. And even with the larger tires on our model, the CT5 maintained a healthy balance of keeping you poised and relaxed without offering the sensation of driving a land yacht. Obviously for the power hungry and enthusiasts, a standard CT5 isn't going to be all that impressive, which is why if you want a dynamic driving experience, you may want to take a look at the Blackwing. When you reflect on the past 25 years or so in the automotive industry, it's rather sad that all American brands, except for one, offer a luxury sedan in the United States. The CT5 being the last of its kind carries on the legacy and DNA of what made large cars so popular in the past. But as we've pinpointed and discussed, Cadillac is also re-engineering and calibrating the driving dynamics to reflect the market that typically stares towards the German cars, such as the BMW 5 Series and Mercedes-Benz E-Class. Despite our model only being a premium luxury, its demeanor on the road and restyled interior feel more in line with contemporary rivals, and is a departure from what we've experienced from GM products in the past. While Cadillac has their eyes set on electrification, they still know how to make an all-around solid sedan that will appeal to shoppers who desire comfort and luxury over performance. We hope you enjoyed this quick buyer's guide for the 2025 Cadillac CT5. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And if you're interested in buying a CT5 or any other luxury sedan, make sure to check out our full reviews to help you find your next vehicle. And thanks for watching.